This is IAPA, the largest expo for the arcade and amusement industry in North America. Today we find and play some games you might have never seen before, including carnival games. Also watch till the end to see Arcade Matt's top three picks for new games at IAPA 2023. This is day two. I don't know what this is, but we're gonna kick off day two with a claw machine win here maybe. You get to keep this stuff? Yeah, I think so. Venue, do more, do less, get more. I must have had it backwards. Do more, get less. That'd be a horrible tagline. Look at that, that's cool. Oh, they so they do game rooms, family rides, stuff like that. So today, guys, we're gonna be focusing a lot on the carnival stuff, and we're gonna be hitting a few arcade booths and games that we didn't hit yesterday, so make sure you guys watch till the end uh, to see my top three picks for IAPA. 2023. Let's kick it off with some carnival games and see if we can win some of them tokens. All right, so the infamous carnival section at IAPA, good old Bob Space Racers. Guys, you might know this name from Gear It Up. That was an old arcade game that they have. Still a super fun game that's in arcades still to this day. So we're going to go around and play some games, and you actually win tickets and tokens here. So we'll uh, see what we can win and see what's here. All right, guys, first carnival game. Roll down, add them up. <laughs> so we played this before, guys, but this is a modernized version. Thank you, camera guy Adam. Shout out to him having him this year. We're gonna be able to get much better coverage on this game. It was tough to do while filming. I kind of like the little triangle thing there. It makes it more interesting. So we have to score 25 points to win a special ticket. So let's see if we can do that here, guys. Oh, five, look at this. And you see I got four balls left to do it now. I'm trying to just drop it in the same spot, like right there. Oh, okay. As long as I get them five and fours, I don't know, we might be okay. Come on, let's get a first carnival game win here. It is early in the morning, so no! <laughs> oh, I see it. There's no three on there. Oh, that's it? Is that five balls? How many balls do you get? Currently not enough. <laughs> Let's try again. Six you're supposed to get. I think I six. Uh-oh, that was bad. Get over there. No! Oh, I need all like fives and fours. No, we're almost all five. Oh, there's a five. You gotta like really sneak it in there. This is a cool game. I wish more carnival. Oh, shoot. Oh, that was bad. Oh, okay. We might still have a shot if we get the fives now. Yeah, we need five. We need all fives because we need 25 points. Oh, it might cancel you out once you're. Yeah, it's impossible to win, maybe. Eh, still let me roll them. This is tricky. I don't remember this being this difficult. Yeah, I can see it went down to zero. Let's try this side. Uh, score high enough to win. Oh, yes. I'm so glad I have him this year to. We'll have to have you play it too, Adam. Adam wants to. We're going to do a bowler roll challenge next, guys. I suck at this game. <laughs> oh, my God. If the object is get under a certain amount, like that one we played at Butler Fair, it would be cool. Ooh, this, yeah, this is, it's tricky, guys. It's like, how do you, you know, how do you get into that angle? Harder, maybe? Nah, that was... Dude, I would be scoring under whatever at that... Come on, can I at least get one? Oh, my God. <laughs> yeah, it, it, like, it cancels you out when you're... It's impossible to win, I guess. That's a cool modernized version of the game that we've played before at the Butler Ferris, so that's neat. So this is an unmanned bowler roller. You don't really need an attendant for this. Super cool. We showed this a few years ago, but I want to show this again because it's awesome. And I got Adam here now to film me. So player, oh, player gets three rolls. Oh, you get three. Okay. I don't remember that. It's a little bit harder. The tough thing about this is it, you're you're pushing this thing, so it, getting that muscle memory down, I think, is a little bit trickier. So we'll see if we can land this here. Uh, okay, that was my warm up. Uh, I would love this for the house. Like, come on. Uh, my God, I gotta get that muscles, man. It, it, guys, this is it's early. It's like not even 11 o'clock. I'm not a morning person, so I, the muscles are still warming up here. Oh, muscles, there it is, shebang! That should be it right there. Dude, told you, it just took a little bit. Let's see if Adam can do it, guys. He's gonna try now, and you actually get a ticket, and you can cash these in here at IAPA, which is so cool. Whoa, easy, mama. <laughs> the way you were pushing, I thought I had to like I know, well, Adam's stronger, so. Uh, uh, too much, try again. It's tough, huh? It's, it's different because you can't use your hand. You know. Yeah. Oh, a little bit more. 
<laughs> All right, he's trying again. Two more attempts here. Eh. Nah. All right, six times is charm. Let's see if Adam can get it on his third one here. Attempt number two, like I did. Oh, maybe. Let's see. Ah, oh, Adam got too much muscle. Still really cool. I approve it. Yeah, Adam approves. Yeah. I agree. That this is awesome. More places need to get this. All right, so we gotta hit five balloons to win a ticket here, guys. So let's see. You get six balls to do it. Here we go. There we go. Oh, it actually the balloon actually goes in when you hit it too. That's neat. Oh my gosh, look at this. Oh, you idiot! There we go. Three, four. I need one more, guys, for a ticket. Yeah, lucky blue, nice. First try at the balloon game. It's a cool one, modernized. And we got another ticket. Keep watching, we'll cash these in and see what they give us for this. All right, we're gonna, oh, there that is, Greg. Greg. Greg, what's going on? Zone 28, Greg's here, guys. I lost. I gotta focus, man. All right, I got it aimed now. So that's the trick is you gotta play once. And then uh, when you play again, hopefully you're right on the thing. What are you doing? Greg, don't mess me up, man. Oh, yeah, I got screwed. Greg's trying to tickle me. You think? Greg thinks I got it. Wow, that was number six. All right, one more try, guys. I'm not moving it now. Greg's playing too. He's number five, guys. Who's going to win it? Three or five. Greg's three. I'm five. Or, oh, I'm on there. What do you think, Greg? Dude, Greg might have it here, guys. Come on, baby. Matt versus Greg, yes, you made it! That's the hack to win, you gotta play three times. Thank you. Whack-a-mole. So this is whack-a-mole, but it's actually competition-based, which is awesome. So here we go. If we win, guys, we get a token, and we trade up tokens for actual plushies they'll give you, it's insane. All right, we gotta focus here, guys. I don't know, we're pretty close here. How are they gonna determine? Shebang! Dude, whack-a-mole. Let's try one more time for good luck. All right, here we go, round two, guys. Can I get two for two? I just use my peripheral vision. I look in the middle, and that's what I'm doing. Shebang! Oh, there, this is, dude, whack-a-mole Matt, new channel name right here. I got three, so one more I can get us something. Oh! I was lagging on that one. <laughs> I like the competition aspect of this. I think this would do really well. So we're cashing in our tokens here, guys. Dude, they can, that's crazy. I'm, I'm missing my calling in life. Thank you. We'll see if we can give this away to someone maybe that knows us here. But uh, here it is, guys. A little baby. It's adorable. <laughs> Love it. All right, so this is a carnival wheel game. And it, you've got to kind of work your way up. The higher you go up, the bigger the prize you get. Really cool thing. I'd love to see more of these at the at the fairs that we go to. There's a winner. Uh-oh, here we go. My buddy Eric's over there on that side. He got a miss. Ah, let's see what I get here. And you actually stop the thing too, which is kind of neat. So I don't know. Let's see here, guys. Come on. Oh, one more. Yes! With the top wheel! Dude, this could be jackpot right here. I've never hit this in my life. Come on, baby. Here we go. This is for all the marbles right here. Oh, there it is! Yes! First try? Dude, oh my god, look how many tickets that crapped out. Oh my lord. Dude, that'll never happen. You see how hard Eric's trying over here. How hard is this? I got, I got the two before. I know, but that third one's tough. But we'll see what we can get with these too. We'll cash these in later. Uh, 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 uh. Oh, see, it's even tough to get the second one. I think it's just a modernized duck pond here, guys. So you, uh, oh, I guess it, there's like a score thing. And then however much your score is, that determines the level of prize. That's kind of neat, a different take on the duck pond. Let's see what I can get. Nothing! Did you put it up here? Oh, <laughs> thanks, Eric. <laughs> We're a bunch of dingleberries over here. He got five. Let's see. I got ten. Wait. Oh, that's our score. Oh, so you get probably so many picks. Fifteen. I think it's just one. So it's RFID. Yeah, see, that one's five. Sure being wet. And that one's ten. Maybe. You're a winner. Woo! Green crayon. I don't want to steal it from the booth and get kicked out. Display only. All right, here we go. New game. Bazooka blast. Got to shoot the balls in the, the holes. It's that simple. It's actually really tough. Look at that. You can't even make one. What how many? Uh, oh, hit any target hole to win. So you just got to get one of them. Yeah! 
Yeah, shebang! <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, we have a winner. Another ticket. Nice. Here, we'll do one more play, see if I can get lucky here. You only get so many shots, so. I don't know if it's easier to go for the lower ones or the higher ones. Maybe that's second to the left. Ooh, just missed the bottom. Top, top. Ah, oh, jeez. Yeah, that's it. You only get like three shots. Matt versus Eric. Matt's going down. Better get ready, Freddy. Uh, uh, mine was lag. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. Look at this little kid over here. Probably gonna win, beat both of us. Ah! Little kid, me. Ah! We just lost the little kid. That's awesome. Here we go. Yeah. Mine's like lagging on the start. Oh no, that's because I got that sign in front of mine. Wow, dude, he's amazing, this kid. Let's give him the channel. Me and Eric can't win for crapola. Hey, you might have this one, Eric. I might, I might, I might. I might. You might. I might. Yeah, there you go. <laughs> I like the unmanned games. Like, I think it's pretty neat. Oh, it is, yeah. Oh, this, I got this one, I think. Dude, I was dead on there. Dead on when you started? Yeah. yeah. That's the trick. Yep. Nice. Shabang! We won the uh, squirt gun game, the, the smaller one. Really neat. I didn't get a ticket either. That's all right. In my heart, I won a ticket. All right, guys, infamous hang challenge. Let's see if we can do it. I'm versing Eric. Place your bets. Who's going to win? Does this have, have that freaking bar? Yeah, that bar spins on this. I wonder if I should try it this way. Hey, make sure your feet stay above those holes right there, all right? Okay. Oh, I see. So when you drop, there's actually sensors below you. So when we were at Butler Fair, guys, they actually, there was a guy there that they said won this, but he had to, like, really train for it for, like, 90 days straight. And, like, the last day, he just got it by like one millisecond so it takes a lot of he done already oh i beat eric oh, oh the burn dude i'm like lightheaded wow look at that it's not bad for just waking up yeah that was cool minute 15 not bad for it being really early and my arms like just being so sore let's move on all right so we're in poison props <laughs> Get too close to the monsters, kids. I'll knock your phone out of your hand. What a friggin' hoot. <laughs> That's cool. With the strobes and everything. I love this stuff. Halloween stuff. It's so cool. They do a good job. This must be so fun to decorate this stuff. <laughs> that one, that one's good there with the door swinging out. And last but not least, they spied the... <laughs> Very cool. Look at that. Stuff. Hope to see some of it at Scarehouse next year. All right, guys, so we're going to go on to some of the other arcade stuff that we didn't show yesterday, and then watch till the end, because I'm going to do my top three picks for IAPA 2023. So we found these little fun mini claws. Look at that double clamp. It was like Ching Ching grabbed air. Yeah, I got a car. Nice. Car with a turtle. Kind of frightening. Let's see if Eric can get something. No. Nope. Oh, uh, see if we can win this guy. Looks like Peter Griffin. <laughs> Peter. It's a squishy Peter. This is like the one I have at home, guys. It's that little mini one. They're pretty cool. Slightly bigger claw, though, you guys will notice there. And you can get different size ones, which is neat. And they have double clamp turned on. Yeah, just a random little booth. They'll sometimes have these mini claw machines set up. All right, guys, we're going to do the Peppa shower. <laughs> oh, my God. Here we go. So you got to put all the balls in the thingy. Oh, jeez. <laughs> Man, this game's violent. I wonder if this has a jackpot. I feel like I'm on a game show right now, honestly. The Peppa Pig game show, baby. Feed in 100 balls, win $5,000! Oh my god, game over? Like, what did I get? 85, shebang. And then it like sucks them all up, look. See how it goes back up in there? That's pretty neat. Peppa Pig's house of balls, look at that. Love it. We're at Smart Industries booth, guys. The Ticket King. Look, they're smaller ticket rings. That's neat. I like these. They're adorable. I want one. I need one for the collection, man. Oh, I almost had a thousand. 375, 3756. You guys remember that, Goober? I can get this 225 here, maybe. I like the smaller ticket rings, though. Yeah. Oh, my God, I suck. Let's see what else we didn't check out at Smart. Yeah, so this is a mega prize, but you win everything. Kind of a neat concept here. This is the all-skill one, so it just takes a while to cut that string. 
Uh, 3RK has this one, but it's the, it's this version here. But uh, I like I really like this concept actually better. Advertising like a bunch of things that you get. Like I think this is a really cool piece here. And then you guys know that I got the little diamond. Check this out. It's like the little diamond plus, baby. I got the OG little diamond here. And so this one comes with like a four player. Really cool. That claw though, I don't think it's gonna pick any of these up. <laughs> you can really put anything in here. You can put like keychains and stuff. Yeah, look at that. Nice. <laughs> we want a little pig. And then these claws are different. You guys see these claws? I like these here, the size and like the, the shape of the arms. And you can adjust like how far they're open and stuff too. So if you have smaller prizes, see how the smaller opening on this one. Got a mushroom. Looks poisonous. Nice. Do not eat if you see in the woods. But yeah, really cool little diamond. They really like, it looks gorgeous. Mini Taj Mahal. Let's see if we can get a inflated stuffed animal here. This might be the one Fun For All has for, for tickets though. Oh, come on baby. Oh, yeah, that's a neat one. I love this one too. This is always a fun one to show here. If you find the key in the egg you, or the coin, it unlocks one of the prize doors down there. It's super neat. It's like built in, which is so neat. So it doesn't take up really much extra footprint if you have like a smaller space. Yeah, it's neat. I'm thinking of getting some kind of version of this at some point. Guys, can we win it? Do not, do not, do not, do not. And I missed him because I suck. I'm used to the one at 3RK that goes real quick. I don't have the timing down. So close. What am I doing? <laughs> See if Eric can get it. He's lucky. It's literally one. <laughs> nice. Hold it. Yeah. Oh, okay. I didn't know that part. <laughs> That's one way to win. Just go all the way forward. Ram, ram. On barber cut, you could do that. Where's your Uber? Hey, how's it going? Where's Goober? The Goober. Why isn't he here? Oh, hey. He's nice to meet you. The fans of you are from. Oh, you are very famous. Oh, wow. Yeah, yeah so in YouTube and uh, Oh, awesome. So, unique animation booth we're at here at IAPA. They're overseas, guys. We don't really see a lot of this stuff here in the States, which I wish we would. Stuff is cool, man. And they actually, the, the people who run this actually, freaking, he almost won ramen noodles, for know, God's right? sakes. They uh, they actually knew me, like, they're from overseas, so it's crazy. We got goobers from all over the world. So we're gonna try some of their claw machines here, guys. Look at this. Let's see if we can win a figurine. Double clamp. <laughs> Double clamp. Freaking SpongeBob, look at him. See, I like their, cr like, these, this crane is, like, gorgeous. It's very bright and, I don't know, I like it. I love the display shelf in the back too, like, even though I can't win Squatzilla, it's on demo mode, so it's not really gonna hold him to the prize shoot, but it's a cool looking claw and probably has like the optional grippers as well. You can even put stuff back air. Yeah. Nice. Oh my God, I must won when you're not even supposed to win. Look at this, it's freaking little, I don't know what these are. They look like little lemons, man. Oh, I need a lemon. lemon. Need a lemon. They all do! I won and you're not even supposed to win. Look, cause I got it blocked, but first try not clickbait. I want a lemon. Look at this. You'll see a lot of this stuff in Japan. They like their snacks and stuff and claw machines over there. And it's, I think that's so cool. Huh? Uh, I just got a cup of freaking ramen noodles. I don't think them chips are gettable. Like round one, like Get some hers. Oh my God, that picks them up. Oh. Oh, dude. What the frick? Oh, I double clamped. Dude, look at this. Yes! Oh, ah! What the heck? All right, here we gotta just drop them in there now. Right. Yeah, I want some chips! I'm hungry. Oh my God, thank you. Thank A you. gift from uh, Unique Anime Booth. Guys, look at this, for Goober the cat. They'll, she'll be dragging this around the house. Thank you, that's thank awesome. You. Oh, it's beads. Still, who cares? Guys, we're at the uh, classic toy booth. Victory is the brand on these ones. You guys know I love the food stuff. This is so cool. Is this your guys' booth here? Yeah. I'm Matt. I do uh, videos and stuff about arcades on YouTube, and I love like food theme plus. So I just want to show these off if that's all right. <laughs> we haven't seen these before. Wow, that's so. Cool. Look at the big pickle and the candy apples. Hopefully, we start seeing these at carnivals and stuff uh, next year. I need these. Come on. How do you start? I don't know. Uh, here, there's oh, a mode selection. Oh, that's kind of neat. You can kind of. It's kind of interesting. I like that it has multiple games. I'm better at this than like down the clown type games. I'm assuming this has a jackpot too. Yeah, highest score is 5,000. Good Lord. He's throwing them all, yeah. Nah, see, I'm missing them that way. Oh, look, it's getting trickier now. 
round two. Okay, look at this. If I beat 5,000, I'm gonna buy Adam a brand new pinball machine. <laughs> No, no pinball machine for Adam. Yeah, that's kind of neat. You uh, And there's different games you can pick, so really cool. Jet games, baby. Let's try this. This looks interesting. This is like Gumdrop, I think, but they redid it. Oh, look, you actually move the cannon moves with that's it. Cool. And then you pull the thing and it releases the ball. That's neat. You won five. All right, let's try again. Here we go. Let's get that bonus. Pull the rope to fire the cannon. Here we go. <laughs> Come on, bonus? Oh, we got 30. That's kind of neat how it turns when you move it. Come on, bonus! Yeah, bonus! Gives me nothing. <laughs> nice. Extra ball, maybe? Yeah, it might be a prototype because I see a mouse in the middle of the screen there. It's cool. I think it has good potential, though. I think it's got a really cool, like, topper, too. That's awesome. All right, guys, are you ready? It's time for Arcade Math's top three new arcade games at IAPA 2023. Coming in at number three, Superman Worlds United. I'm kind of looking for games that kind of broke the mold here. Nobody else kind of had anything similar to this. This is at the uh, Benchmark Games International booth. You guys might know them from old classic, like uh, Big Hall and stuff like that, but uh, it is the uh, Plinko-like game. It has the uh, pups in there, and you time them, and uh, there's like all this stuff going on and I know if you get the yellow like over here, you get like all these tickets and it's a really in-depth game. And I love the visuals on it. Oh. And then if you get that middle column, it gives you that wheel. And it actually, I didn't even know this yesterday, this is a card collecting game too. So you guys see that there, you collect them all and you can get tickets. So if you fill any column here, you win the, the uh, bonus tickets there. So 100 and 100. And the instructions are pretty easily laid out here. But it, there's a lot going on. You guys see, I must have hit something over here. Oh, did I get the wheel maybe? Yeah, I got the wheel. So that fell on the wheel and got me 40 tickets. So yeah, really cool game. Visually awesome. And that's why it's Arcade Mats number three. All right, guys. So coming in at number two, I have to put this in here just because of the attention it's been getting. It's super unique game, super creative, Smart Industries booth. Can you guess it? Of course, it's the robot prize game here, guys. This one actually gives the plushies. So we did not play this in Houston. We played the ticket one there. So I think this is just super unique take. I mean, you can really get creative if you're an arcade with the stuff you can put in this thing. I mean, it doesn't have to be just plushies. I mean, you can put whatever. And even when people are not playing the robot, if you're walking by, there's sensors and it will interact with the people walking by and say things. So again, another thing that I think really uh, broke the mold this year at IAPA. Now, on to number one. All right, so before we go to number one, I have to honorable mention Pop It. Really cool theme, love the branding, love the game, love the joystick aspect of it. And it's real intense, because not necessarily the one you're going for is the one you're gonna get. And I'm a big fan of the uh, Yahtzee game. And this is just a bigger version of that with like more instant gratification as far as tickets. So I can see this doing really well in arcades and you get your bonus wills there and uh, you can win a lot of tickets on it too. So I had to honorable mention that from Touch Magics. All right guys, so we're at LAI Games booth yet again this year, but again, they broke the mold with this game. It's addicting, it's all luck, but the arcades can put that super bonus like really high because it's super hard to hit. And uh, I think you guys know what it is already, but I had to put this at number one just because it's so intense. Cosmic Spire, super cool game. It's not too difficult to understand. I mean, honestly, once you get used to what the party times do, you're basically just knocking pearls over, whatever you want to call them, into the thing and just hoping and praying that it goes up and up and up and up until the big win there. And uh, it's a rapid fire game. It's all luck. I mean, maybe a tad bit of skill on when you're timing, you know, the first one here, but oh, I might have enough. If I hit this again, I swear, if this gets to the top level again, I'm gonna scream. Look at this, we might be at level, oh, it's gonna miss it, I think. Now nah, I'm in fifth, oh, I just made it. Uh-oh, uh-oh, could we be at level four? If I hit this again, they're never gonna believe me. Look at this, level frickin' four, the first ball. Oh my God, I will crap a brick, look at this. Oh my God. Don't even say it. Like how intense, oh, 130. Dude, I, I was like, I, if I hit that again, they're never gonna believe me. 
I, I swear, we interviewed him yesterday. They didn't rig the game for me, guys, I promise. Still the only one that has won the jackpot. Wow! Some must be, I don't know, I must be like lucky with these, this game. But you guys took number one again this year, man. Oh, Top awesome, three. Awesome. Thank you. I mean, it's intense. I mean, we're, I'm like literally biting my nails on this game. So guys, that was my coverage of IAPA 2023. There were just so many other games that really we couldn't even feature just doing only a top three. There were just so many good ones as always. It's almost impossible to make a top three list, but these are just my personal favorites. Let me know your guys' top three. It might be different, that's okay. And uh, hope you enjoyed. A big thanks to uh, Eric, my friend, for participating in some of the videos. And Adam, he's been a trooper, man, doing all this filming and, get, and making this extra special coverage this year. And uh, also, guys, Mount Shebang is up there now on Arcade Online, so make sure you guys check that out. It's launched. We're, we've been excited for that, so make sure you guys head over and play it. ArcadeMad.com plush and prizes for sale. And like we always say, thanks for playing games at IAPA. I have no voice. We'll see you next year. Did I have a...